Good morning to you, my friends. I'm Cor, and this is Main Assembly. A very exciting day. Yesterday, Main Assembly reached 1.0. Finally, this game is complete. I love this game. It's one of my favorite building games. It's super complicated, and has just like a massive a massive amount of stuff you can do with the chassis editor it's just fantastic there's really no limits um it's not as user friendly as a game like trail makers which is why i go back to that one too if i want to just build something quickly it's a lot easier there but it's so much more customizable in this and with 1.0 they've added a whole bunch of new things first of all back before 1.0 they added this the bot brawl which i have not explored yet i really should have done that but this is like a, if you ever played the game, I think it was called BattleBots, way, way back on the PC. That game was one of my absolute favorites as a kid. Absolutely loved playing that, making robots and battling with my brother. It was just so much fun to just absolutely go ham with those. And I think you can just do that in this, which is really cool. But most of all, what I'm excited about, they added zero gravity space maps. And I am so excited you can build spaceships, you can build space stations, I am just so excited to get into that. So we're gonna head to the final frontier in sandbox mode. Oh, look at that, we're already in the space station. Let's get a look at this. Holy moly! This is massive! Okay, let me out of here. What? Oh, world building. What? Oh yeah, I forgot, they also did the world building update. Ah! That's awesome. Okay, complexity low. What's that supposed to mean? Are you saying I'm not a complex being? Is my brain power lacking? Eh, it's possible. I, I wait, no. I'm still in world building. There we go. Eh, that's better. That's why the complexity was low. Okay, let's build a spaceship. You know that's what we're gonna do. Um, let me see <laughs> if I can remember how to play this game. Uh oh. Um, whoop, where did I go? I'm I'm down here now. Yep, there we go. Make it nice and flat. And if I hit control, it extends it, right? Yes. Okay. Look at how nice this is looking. <laughs> this looks like an escape pod rather than a spaceship. Okay. Uh, can we edit the material? Oh, wait. Colors? Materials. Here we are. Light. Um, plexiglass. Boom. Plexiglass, baby. Oh, that looks strange. Look at that. Oh, I don't know about that. Let's finish off the sides. Make this thing look truly space worthy. Um, rocket engine. Uh, jet engine. RCS thruster. Uh, let's do rocket engines. Those are huge. Okay. Um, well. Boom, there we go. The center of thrust gizmo shows where your average vision of all thrust is. Oh, okay. Oh my goodness, I've forgotten how complicated this is. Um, okay, let's, let's take a minute here and remember, okay, so I want to get rid of this. Can I just, yes, okay. Left shift, go away, F, go away. Is that it? Okay, let's put you up there. So we want, and uh, we already have the input, parts, rocket engine one, rocket power. You go there, and we're gonna have you on W and S, okay? Let's see if that works. Uh, oh, okay, okay, we're good. Uh, print, I forgot, print, yes. And then, let's see, oh boy. Well, I think we're a little off center. Hmm. Yay, 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 yay. That's, uh. That's a spinny boy right there, I'll tell you. <laughs> okay, we have, uh, degraded into a slightly more simple design. That's better. Definitely better. Um. Just like with a rocket in real life. This one, ah, oh no, I did not mean to do that. This one has stages. It's perfectly normal. There's nothing funny going on here. Stop laughing. Boom, beautiful. Now let's print the bot. 
and we can go forwards. We can go up, and we can go down, we can go... Excuse me. We can go up, and we can go down. It's just... Uh, uh, stop! <laughs> Reprint! No, wait, uh, that's not what I wanted to do. What? Come back! <laughs> this is hard, guys. I, I don't know what to do, my brain is just... Why is the thrusters pushing the wrong way? Why are you doing that? I don't understand. They're pushing backwards. <laughs> My brain. I am not a space engineer. I am not. It's just not my calling in life. I'm just a simple man trying to make a simple rocket ship. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go to the workshop and we're gonna see what other masterful ideas people have come up with. Okay, so I went on the workshop and I found space uh, fighter craft, fighter spacecraft by Knox the Socks. You're the man, Knox. And uh, I think he probably has a better grasp. Oh, he's got guns on it too and everything. What's this? LED bar. He's got lights on it. Okay, let's try and see. He's got laser beams. Let's see what this babe is made of. So he's got rocket engines here. That's the main propulsion. Oh my goodness! Well, this man really knows what he's doing when it comes to programming. So I'm not gonna mess with that. <laughs> Let's get inside and take it for a spin. Okay, so he's got. D Ooh! That's really cool. So he's got plasma beams in the back, laser beams in the front that follow the mouse, and he's got W and S, oh my goodness, and space is thrust forward, I'm, oh my goodness. How is this so controlled? I know how it's so controlled. Okay, hold on. Get out. He's got, he's got little of those like awesome thrusters in the wings, doesn't he? He must. Oh, that's smart. Yes, because they push and then they stop pushing. It's the gimbal jets from Trail Makers. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's take it. Let's take this thing for a spin. Oh, this is how a spacecraft is supposed to feel. Let's blow up the space station. Am I right? Here we go. Boom, 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 boom. Anything? Hey, there we go. And boom, boom. Oh boy. Oh snap. Yeah. Ooh, we're okay. We're perfectly fine. We're a little bit dented. This thing is sturdy. Perfectly functional. Perfectly functional. What happens if we blow up these big gas canisters, eh? I want to see. I want to see a space explosion. Still a little tricky to control. There we go. And they're invincible. That's fine. Whatever. Can I, can I crash into this planet? I just want to crash into this planet. I want to crash into the planet, please. You know what we're going to do? We're gonna do something dangerous. Uh, uh, where are your parts, my sir? Um, whoa. Um, RCS thrusters, no, I don't need all those. Rocket engines, yes. Rocket power, there you are. We're gonna go, we're gonna do what we've never dared to do before. And we're gonna make it go faster. Oops, we're gonna make it go 10 times faster. Here we go, oh, that's better. Knocks the socks. You need to take some notes from me, my dude. Clearly, I am better at making your own machine than you are. I'm sorry, that's not even true. I just turned up the power, and now this thing is flying sideways. So, I do believe that more power is not always better. This map is absolutely massive. This is for real space. But, my question is, is the planet actually, like, touchable? I'm pretty sure the asteroids are. I'm almost 100% sure the asteroids are touchable, which means you can crash into them, but I think that planet is just part of the skybox, if I'm being honest. So the next best thing is to go over to that giant asteroid and see what it's all about. Oh! Hey! That's not fair. Why is everything black and white? Is that the edge of the world? No, I was almost there. 
main assembly, bad yoke, I'm ashamed of you, tantalizing me with this thing, and then saying I can't get over there. Uncool, I would say. All these wimpy baby asteroids. <laughs> I wanted that one. I want to build a house on it. But, oh, come on. That makes me sad. Okay, whatever. You know what? I now have... I have the knowledge it takes to build myself a spaceship. Thank you, Knox the Socks, for inspiring me in the ways of spaceship building. Oh, that did not go where I wanted it to go. Back down with you. A spaceship design that we can all appreciate. I know. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna take uh, inspiration from Mr. Knox, and we're gonna use the RCS thrusters. I've never used them before. I really should. And I don't know how they work. So we're gonna try and figure it out. RCS thruster, anti-gravity. That's not exactly what I want. Activate the thruster to act against gravity. Well, that doesn't matter. There's no gravity. So that's not what I want you to be doing. Okay, that means I have to program it from scratch. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Okay, um... It doesn't look like I have to do it from scratch. Because I can just say pitch, roll, and yaw. Okay. Okay, let's see what we've got. We've got forward and back. Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, we're moving, people. Holy moly. Whoa. Uh, okay, enough of that. Woo. His had a reverse action to stop them. And I'm pretty sure that is programmed in okay as as cool as that model would have been uh oh I think I did it backwards as cool as that would have been where <laughs> that method of uh, or that mode whatever it is this the shape of that why won't you go back home whatever it'll have a little thing at the back that shape of ship is seeming like it's not going to be the the optimal way to uh, to go about things. So what we're going to do is we're going to go with a simpler design. Nice and easy so I can hopefully get an actual working spaceship. This one will go forward and back. So we've got space and shift. Now we just need left and right and we will be flying. Oh, this is exciting. I've almost done it. Ah, uh, er, uh, uh, powered RCS thruster. I know I'm using RCS thrusters as my forward propulsion. That's not the best idea, but it's okay. It's okay. Calm down. It's going to be a nice slow robot. And you're going to be roll, right? Uh, no, wait. I want yaw, don't I? Let's, let's see. I think I want yaw, because I want it to go left and right. I don't want it to spin. I want it to just... Yes, I want that. Okay. Forward. Down and up. Left and right. Oh, baby. We're flying. We're actually flying. It's a little bit touchy, and I have to keep n n nudging on the controls, but it, we're flying. We're flying. And I also do want Q and E to roll it left and right, so we're going to have to get some roll going in here. Nice, nice. Now my my computer programming panel looks a lot more simple than his, but that's okay, and that's honestly good. Okay, now let's see. Yes, look at this power. I am in complete control of my spacecraft. Holy moly. Okay, calm down, calm down, calm down, calm, calm down, calm, calm, oh, oh, okay. Ooh. Hold on. Let me think how to recover. How to recover. Oh, 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 hold on. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, 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 oh. And there we go. And away we go. We're recovered. Well, look at me. I'm a robot in space. I have conquered the final frontier. Now, there are challenge levels that I really want to do with this. And I definitely will get to that. 
but there's a prerequisite to it, and I didn't know what that was, so I figured I would just mess around out here in space and see what the new physics are like. But yes, main assembly is in 1.0. The day finally came, and it is a wonderful day, I will tell you. That's the, uh, that's a little introduction to 1.0 in main assembly, and I'm gonna be doing those challenge levels, hopefully I can figure out how, and it should be really, really fun. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching this video on main assembly. If you did, leave a like. If you haven't already and you would like to, you can subscribe to see more main assembly and all the other things I post right here on this channel. And as always, guys, in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.